So I want to do a video on hydration um, and water. Um, you know, if um, if you're familiar with the the, uh, the material, you know that um, Ogenus actually said, you know, you want to drink at least a gallon of water a day, preferably distilled water. And um, you don't have to take my word for this. You can look this up. It's very easy to find. Um, I'm just getting some vegetable juice here ready with some sour cream I got my eggs in there um, but yeah you want to drink at least a gallon of water a day and that's gonna help flush out your system and hydrate your body um, so yeah I mean that's really the key here uh, and I hope this really isn't a shock to you but it's true um, you know you need water even even doctors say you need eight glasses of water a day that's about you know two liters or so uh, but you know, of course, Agenis, I mean, he knows um, a lot better, and he said a gallon, so you should try to aim, you know, just take a gallon of water with you uh, in the morning, everywhere you go, and just uh, drink it um, throughout the day, and um, yeah, it's really good to um, drink it, you know, you can sip it throughout the day, you still have water left, you know, you just want to, like, chug it right before you eat your meat, and then, um, what this will do it will help keep you up all night and then you can go to the bathroom and you know flush out all the toxins um because you have to get up to pee like six times um so that's really you know the best thing you can do is to just drink a lot of water because that's um that's the key to health like i said um doctors you know they know they know what they're doing and that they, they say eight glasses a day you need i just know it's better you need at least a gallon a day so drink up Drink up um, that distilled water. Just go to the store and buy some. It's pretty cheap, uh, easy to find, um, clean. So uh, enjoy that. Enjoy your distilled water. Um, okay, did I piss off the trolls? Okay, yeah. So obviously, um, if you're watching this video, you know that's a joke. Um, yeah. So, in terms of hydration, you know, things like vegetable juice are good, raw eggs, um, better than, I think, butter. You know, a lot of people say, oh, just drink butter, drink a loop formula. It's like, no. <laughs> it's not exactly satiating or quenching. I mean, it's good. I don't make a lot of loop formulas, um, but, like, you know, a hydration formula is probably better. Or tomato juice with some lemon and honey stirring a raw egg too why not um but yeah i mean in the summer you'll find your water intake is probably higher than the winter uh in the winter for me like my water intake is almost non-existent like unless i'm taking a bath and drinking a garrel starter that's my water um you know but in the summer sometimes like i probably drink about a cup a day um maybe more if i don't have hydration formula no i will drink more if i don't have a hydration formula um, but always sips and I try to take it with an egg um, you know so that's uh, that's you know it's not the worst thing a lot of people say don't drink water at all I think that's kind of dumb because even Ogenus drank water um, he would sip water you know especially in the summer when it was hotter he was he was sipping on a little water you know like I said a cup a day half a cup a day and I think in the winter he was said it was down like even less than that in a week or maybe he drank like a cup a week or something like that something crazy but like the thing is too is like there's water and raw meat you know eggs vegetable juice you make hydration formula or tomato juice like I mentioned earlier like like all that stuff has water and it. it's gonna hydrate you um, and aside from just having water it's gonna have minerals and things that help keep you satiated and functional because if you just drink water all day even if you just have like eggs and water I've noticed like I get tired and fatigued and um, it's not uh, it's not great but I mean it works so it gets you through the day um, but yeah it depends on your activity level um, in terms of water you know I did a video on this like I don't know about Perrier it doesn't taste very good um, it's it says co2 on the ingredients list so I it makes me think they're artificially adding it because it's owned by Nestle and I feel like they're probably artificially carbonating the water they send to the United States I don't 
suspect it would be that way in France because they're more uptight about their food. I suspect that they would still use um, natural carbonation because they used to buy it from Gerolsteiner, uh, their carbonation. And I think San Pellegrino still buys their carbonation from Gerolsteiner as well. Um, so, you know, yeah, San Pellegrino and Gerolsteiner are my two choices for water. I don't really have any other choices near me. There may be some other uh, brands, European brands, for water near you or whatever. And as far as like, um, you know, like, don't drink tap water. Obviously, that's not good. Um, so, yeah, that's how much cream I put in. Sour cream. About, you know, a tablespoon or so. Mix it in with the eggs. Um, anyway, yeah, well water is good. If you have to go out to a farm to get your milk or food or whatever, ask them. Just say, hey, are you on well water? Would you mind if I filled up a, you know, a, uh, a thing of water? You know, you can get these five gallon things pretty cheap. Well, not pretty cheap. I think they're like eight bucks or so. Um, I got a used water, water cooler for 10 bucks. And I use that well water also to wash my uh, produce um, with the whey, apple cider vinegar, and lime juice. Um, if I was using tap water, still I'd add milk to that. Um, but I digress. Um, a hydration formula will get you through depending on what you're doing most of the day it should if you're sweating more like the tomato and, and uh, watermelon combination is the best tasting um, however the cucumber has more silica and things that will help replace like what you're sweating out if you're doing a lot of sweating you want to use more cucumber in your hydration formula um, just something I've kind of noticed even though the watermelon and tomato it tastes so good, but uh, yeah, make sure you do that. And, uh, it will help you. I, for instance, uh, getting back into uh, some athletic stuff. I think I was in an open mat doing some sparring, three-minute rounds, and uh, you know I was taking breaks in between, just sipping on the hydration formula. Uh, didn't eat any eggs. Was just doing the hydration formula. I had four eggs in there. Um, so, but it really helped, you know, afterwards I wasn't thirsty at all. I maybe took a sip of water a couple times, like there's a small sip, and, um, you know, I was hydrated, I was uh, not fatigued, you know, because like, the more you drink water, the more fatigue you'll get because it's, it's leaching some minerals from your body. Um, it is hydrating you, but it, it also just makes you more tired. And I've experienced both because there's been days I've gone to work and I, I didn't have time or the stuff to make hydration formulas. I said, oh, dang. So I was drinking water all day pretty much. And, yeah, you just get more tired. It sucks. But it, it helps you like, oh, well, I need a hydration formula. I was even sucking down eggs pretty good too, like a dozen eggs. And, yeah, still thirsty. Eggs help, but, you know. You need a little bit more than eggs, I think, if it's really hot like that and you're really working. In the winter, for instance, like between the eggs and milk and the meat and the vegetable juice, um, I don't see myself drinking any water unless I'm in a bath. You know, having some Gerolsteiner for the bath is really nice. Um, even a lemonade um, is good too, but it can be demineralizing. So, you know, I would suggest if you want something that's like a soda substitute to drink, make my cola substitute for the bath. It's the cilantro juice with a lime, a little bit of lime juice and uh, lime zest. And uh, you don't need as much, um, you don't need as much lime juice as you do lemon juice for a lemonade. It's really just kind of like a flavor enhancer. And, um, yeah, so it's probably a little less demineralizing than the lemon juice. Um, but I don't, I don't know how much in terms of quantity. Because I use, like, a whole lemon for lemonade. So if you're using, like, maybe a quarter lime juice, half a lime juice, you know, that's 
It's less, but it's probably still low demineralizing. Well, I don't know, because you're putting in the cilantro. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, yeah, if you're in the tub too, like you've seen me bathing in luxury, you know, some melons, some eggs, some cheese, milk, um, or cream and milk, like half and half, and a little bit of Garrel's Steiner. That's good. That'll do you right, because um, the uh, the watermelon is is good. It's very quenching, obviously. You can make a hydration formula for the bath too. Even just some tomato juice with some lemon and honey. You know, that's. I mean, you can get creative. Like, experiment. Try different things. Audrey has always said to experiment. Um, try different things. Um, you know, within the confines of like what he recommends. Like, obviously, I'm not saying experiment with you know, chocolate chip cookies and vanilla ice cream or, or something like that, you know, like, you know, th think about like what you've learned on the diet and what works for you and say, okay, how can I make this better or, you know, more effective? Like, what can I do? You know, um, it will probably take listening to the Q and A's that haven't been transcribed yet. Cause there's some good stuff in there. Um, and I post, if you're not following my telegram channel, I would suggest you do that. Um, I'll post whenever I get in the tub and um, I'll post the q and I'm listening to. Um, it's very helpful. It's very interesting um, to, to hear some of that stuff. And um, yeah, that's a good thing to do if you're in the tub too. Put on a Q&A, put on a workshop and listen and learn. So, you know, you know, I think a lot of people get bent out of shape about don't drink water, but obviously, you know, you might need a little bit. Everybody needs a different amount of solvents. So everybody's body is different. What you need for water may not be ideal for somebody else. Just like, just because you eat a lot of red meat doesn't mean other people want to or can because it messes with them. They might need more white meat, and that's okay. But, you know, you have to have a little bit more of a broad scope, a little bit more perspective. You know, these people giving out advice, they have a very narrow-minded viewpoint. They try to... Um, delineate from their own perspective and that that should be the only way and that's wrong um obviously for the reasons i just stated uh, and it's kind of productive too like you know people need to listen to their bodies um so what they need is not what you need um you know i'm just here to give advice give my two cents um obviously some people like listening to it some people don't and that's okay um I hope the trolls enjoyed my first uh, couple minutes on this video, you know. It's true. Uh, distilled water cured adrenosis cancer. You can look that up. That's a fact. Um, a gallon of water a day, he said. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, that's about all. If you have more questions about hydration, uh, let them let me know.